Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back with Mega Man IV Stone Man Stage by Oscar M1258 Space 6. Um, we're going to be a doctor now to some stones that are going to be rolling. Uh, so again, this is going to be another... I know it's Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy. It's going to be another replica stage, I have a feeling. It's got a positive score, so I'm going to take that to mean that the replica is very well done. The thing is, I just don't think we need a replica of this. Uh, this replica is already flawed because we should not have Stone Man's power going into this stage. Because otherwise, why are we going to this stage? Oh, I remember. This is a long stage. See, Doc, those Mets are not impossible to destroy. Drop platforms, yep, yep. This is a very long set. Why would we need weapon energy already? And these are supposed to replace those Pharaoh bricks, stones, that, that appeared in the Game Boy, Mega Man 4 Game Boy game, and didn't really appear anywhere else. And we have... This is a cool boss fight! I need a way to deal with this. We'll flush them out. That worked. Wow, that was that was cool. I I like the creativeness of that. I do need to be very whoa. I'm about to have issues. Give him the finger for that stunt. When I unpaused, I was like over the the pit. I didn't realize that. Gotta be careful with uh, Rain Flush screwing up my jumps, even though everything else there kind of screwed up my jumps. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by a Met. And I guess Hyper Bombs are a replacement for the, the thing, the Napalm Bomb that doesn't exist in Mega Maker. What are you doing, Mega Man? He's like, you know what? That ladder is too far, and I'm going to prove it to you. I refuse to use Stone Man's weapon because we shouldn't have it yet. That should have hit. What's the point of that mid-charge shot if it's not going to hit that guy? I call hacks. I call, maybe there's an invisible wall here that I have problems. Oh gosh, invisible walls. Take me back to the Luo Karen games. If you don't know what that is, uh, I suggest looking it up. I, it was a whole series that I did with uh, Dr. Novocaine. That worked exceedingly well. <laughs> whole series I did with Dr. Novocaine. Ooh, let's kill those in one... Oh, because up here is the the hidden hiddenness. And we're supposed to use this as a thing to stand on. But it does not work well at all in Mega Maker. So we're gonna give this guy the finger. I realize this guy had boatloads of life in Mega Man eleven, but does he need to have boatloads of life here? Is that, that looks like an L tank. But it's not. It's an easy E. Not that easy. We did die on our way here. Yeah, I'll just let him... Let him do what he wants to do. I have a bright idea here. Oh, wow, that took off his, uh, unvulnerability, but it made him vulnerable. Try it, Bat. Those bats are hidden very well in this, uh, in these aesthetics. I like that. Ha! Thought you could fool me, huh? 
Well, you can't. At least not this time. That's what I came down here for. Isn't that where a letter was supposed to be? Yeah, you had these letters you had to collect in order to progress with the game. I think four of the letters unlocked something. Maybe, maybe this is the game you had to collect all the letters from all the stages in order to actually progress. That was a mean trick in the uh, original. Well, I know the weaknesses from the Game Boy games, but... Well, I, sh I know the weaknesses from the main NES games, but the Game Boy games sometimes had to switch weaknesses. Okay, we didn't switch weaknesses here. Ouch. Just because of the nature of the uh, Game Boy games, where you had four Robot Masters from Mega Man 4 and four from Mega Man 5. So I think you ended up in, in Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy, like Ring Boomerang was effective against Toad Man to close that loop. Uh, the remake itself, it was a good job remaking this stage. Honestly, I would say... I would say this is actually better than the original, only because of... Mega Man Maker and the physics within Mega Maker. And the fact that we could see much more of the screen than you can in the Game Boy game. Mega Man takes up a much larger portion of the screen size in the Game Boy games. And I feel like this stage just worked better under like the normal Mega Man NES type format that this is. So uh, for that, I'm actually going to give it a thumbs up. And for that mini boss, I love that mini boss. I think that was supposed to imitate the hippos. Yeah, yeah, because the hippos appeared in Stone Man stage. Uh, anyways, that is all for me for now, and I will see you guys next time.